Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 11, Exponents with Numerical Basis. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Multiplication and Division of Powers with Numerical Basis. Let's look at the example 3 there. 4 to the power n plus 2 times 9 to the power n minus 1. Divide by 72 to the power n times 2 to the power 1 minus n. So if your bases are numbers like 4, 9, 72, and 2, try and change them to prime numbers. Like 4, for instance, is 2 squared. 9 is 3 squared. 72 is 3 squared times 2 cubed. And of course, 2 is already a prime number. So that is step number one. Then secondly, you need to multiply the newly created exponents with the existing ones. Like the 4 to the power n plus 2 is now 2 to the power 2 to the power n plus 2. So don't forget now to multiply the 2 with the n and the 2. So you get 2n plus 4. The 9 is 3 to the power 2n minus 2. The 72 to the power n becomes 3 to the power 2n times 3 to the power 2n and then of course the other one 2 to the power 1 minus n remains as is now i can deal with the twos and the threes so the 2 to the power 2n plus 1 at the bottom can be taken up and subtracted from the top 2 to the power 2n plus 4 the same with the threes 3 to the power 2n minus 2 take 3 to the power 2n up and subtract it from 2n minus 2. And then you end up with the n's will cancel and you end up with 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power negative 2. Negative 2 must go down to the denominator to become 3 to the power positive 2. So therefore 8 over 9. Addition and subtraction of powers with numerical basis. Do the example 4. Show that 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 3 times 2 to the power x is the same as or equals to 5 times 2 to the power x. So let's start with the left hand side first. And of course, 2 to the power x plus 1. So we undo the first law. Like 2 to the power x plus 1 comes from 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. So you first undo the law. And now you can see there is a common factor. 2 to the power x is common for both terms. So you take it out as a common factor and you're left with 2 plus 3. And of course, 2 plus 3 is 5. So there you are. 5 times 2 to the power x. So therefore, your left hand side is equal to your right hand side. Please remember that when you are factorizing power expressions, the base and the exponent have to be the same for it to be a common factor. So please take note of that. Alternatively, you can use the so-called K method, where you, rep where you replace 2 to the power x with K. But then yet it's an extra step, because then you come back and you have to again replace K with 2 to the power x. But you can choose any of the two methods. Let's look at example B. 9 to the power x minus 1, plus 3 to the power 2x as a single power expression. So 9 is not a prime number, so 3 to the power 2, which gives you 3 to the power 2x minus 2, plus 3 to the power 2x. Then again, you can split the 3 to the power 2x minus 2 into 3 to the power 2x times 3 to the power negative 2. Now you can see the common factor is 3 to the power 2x. Sub, uh, take it out as a common factor and you're left with 3 to the power negative 2 plus 1. In this stage, you can, of course, use the calculator to solve the bracket. Or 3 to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over 3 to the power plus 2, which is 1 over 9. And 1 over 9 plus 1 is 10 over 9. But like I said, you can use the calculator at this stage that is acceptable. Let's look at the next example. Simplify 3 to the power x plus 2 minus 3 to the power x divided by 3 to the power x plus 1 minus 3 to the power x minus 2. 
So again, we can, luckily they're all prime numbers. So I can again undo 3 to the power x plus 2 is 3 to the power x times 3 to the power 2. Do the same with the 2 at the bottom. Undo them. Then on top, 3 to the power x is a common factor. And at the bottom, again, 3 to the power x is a common factor. So the 3 to the power x will cancel. And I'm left with 3 squared minus 1, which of course is 9 minus 1. And at the bottom, 3 to the power 1 minus 3 to the power minus 2. Again, the calculator is allowed here. You can use a calculator to get to the answer 36 over 13. Next example, simplify 3 to the power 2x minus 1 over 3 to the power x plus 1. So what you can do is 3 to the power 2x can be changed into 3 to the power x to the power 2. So that is that third law we are applying. And then the two terms on top represents sum and difference. So we can factorize sum and difference 3 to the power x plus 1. 3 to the power x minus 1. Then the 3 to the power x plus 1 brackets will cancel, and we're left with 3 to the power x minus 1. There's a lovely exercise for you to work through. Again, very important. You need to practice. Please work through all the examples. Make sure you can do them and understand them. All the best. This is Ahmed Suleiman signing off. Please ensure that you give me a huge like and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed this short video.